Hello folks, welcome to Cohort Studies Part 3. In this video, we will be talking about relative risk and how to calculate it in a cohort study. First, uh, just to read, here's our direction of inquiry in a cohort study. If you guys uh, uh, had, uh, had watched the previous video about my cohort study part 2, you can just check that out for a quick recap. But essentially, uh, what we're focused on here is, in the end, these four uh, pieces of data. And these four pieces of data are going to give us uh, the relative risk of this particular cohort study. And, and key things to note is you have these, um, particularly these two sets of groups, right? You have the sample of people exposed, and then, and then you have... Uh, Within, the, within that, you have either the whether it had the outcome or not. And then you do the same thing with the sample of people not exposed. Okay? So in the cohort study, uh, we use, and, and, and in particularly the cohort study, we use something called the 2x2 two two table to get uh, the final relative risk. So you have these exp uh, equations here, but uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll get to it one by one. So... You form a two, so you finish your data, you finish your research and your study, and in the end, you get uh, essentially you get these four um, numbers here, and and these A, B, C, D are essentially just uh, numbers. So how many people? Okay. So on the left here, you have your exposure group, yes and no. Were they exposed to uh, whatever variable they you know you you put that in, and then. On the right here, you have the outcome. So, did they receive the outcome uh, based on you know whatever exposure was what they, they received? Okay, and then you you just simply put in the numbers here. Um, don't worry if this sounds a little bit abstract. We will actually be giving you an example uh, in the in the next slide. So, just bear with me for a second. Um, so in order to come up with the relative risk of this particular cohort study or this two by two table, we're, there, there are a series of steps that we have to do. First, we're going to want to obtain the risk of outcome in the exposed group, and then we're going to come up with the risk of outcome in the non-exposed group. And in order to do that, you have these uh, equations here. Essentially, it's A divided by A plus B. So you have A divided by A plus B is equal to the risk of outcome in the exposed group. And then C right here divided by C plus D is equal to the risk of outcome in non-exposed group. And just to note, um, it's very, I think this is very important. So just keep in mind or note down this, uh, these sets of equations and maybe this chart as well. Because this, this will probably help you out a lot. So just note this down. Um, and I'll also note that this right here, what we've done is essentially made this a percentage, right? You have A divided by uh, the total population that's over here, not the total population of the study, just the total number of people in this yes exposed group, okay? So this is essentially a percentage. Um, so once we come up with these two numbers, we can then come up with the relative risk by essentially dividing the risk of outcome in exposed to the risk of outcome in the non-exposed. And you essentially just get the numbers and then you divide them up and you'll get the relative risk. So let's give you guys an example. So here we have the, and, and this is just a com complete example, I just made up the numbers, I just made up the whole thing up um, just to make it very simple uh, for you guys to see. So here we have the exposure group, which is the obesity. And here we have the outcome is severe occupational injury. So this study, you know, was, I, I guess, when I made it, uh, if you have the exposure group, so if you, if you are obese, are you more likely or less likely to get a severe occupational injury? That was the thinking behind it. Okay, so this is the exposure, this is the outcome. Um, so let's get through the numbers and then get the final relative risk in this 2x2 two two table. So how many of them say yes? This is essentially our A, right? So we have 
a divided by a plus b. So that's 12 divided by 38 plus 12, which is 50. So that's 12 divided by 50. You crunch that in the calculator, that gives you 0 0.24. Risk of outcome in the non-exposed group is 5. So that's c. Remember in our previous slide, it was c divided by c plus d. 5 plus 45 is 50, and so we get 0 0.10, or sorry, 0 0.1. And remember, uh, these are essentially what we've done, is we've made percentages out of them, right? So th this is 0 0.24, or 24%, this is 0 0.1, or 10%. And in order to come up with the relative risk, uh, we will divide the exposed group to the non-exposed group. So 0 0.24 divided by 0 0.1, and that'll give you a relative risk for this cohort study as 2.4, okay? Now, that's great and all. We got the 2.4, but what does it exactly mean? Like, what does that mean? So what does that mean for the cohort study? Essentially, what it means is that um, if you are obese, you are 2.4 times more likely to get a severe occupational injury as compared to people who are not obese. And remember, this is just an example. I don't know the numbers or whatever it is. I just made it up, so keep that in mind. And uh, just to note, um, you, you want to note that this particular example that I did did not, uh, did not, um, did not take into account something called confounding variables. So just keep that in mind. Okay, uh, we'll continue, you know, relative risk and risk ratio and odds ratio, things like that um, in the next videos. So stay tuned. We'll, we'll continue this subject. Take care.